Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to do this cute little bird made with three punches. You will need the wide oval punch, your small oval punch and the petals off this five petal flower and we will use this flower too for some double punching from the spring bouquet punch. Okay, so let's um, let's get started. Now, that is essentially the components of your little bird okay so once you punch one wide oval you're going to use all the rest of the scrap from from that punch out so what you need to do is punch out one wide oval punch and what I've done is I've had a play with how I like my little bird the shape of it you want to make sure you get um, a fatter bottom and a skinnier head okay so once I was happy with how much I cut off I just used that then I wrote template on that and I'm going to put that in with my punch uh, punch book and I'm just going to then use that as a template then when I want to do another little bird and that'll show me where to cut it off okay so when you do that you've got to save both pieces okay I'll just push them out of the way got to say both pieces the scrap and the main okay here's the body so to finish the actual shape of the body you got to uh, go back into it with your um, small oval punch and you can see sorry in the light I'm just pushing it in so that it fits in like that and it's going to take sorry, it's going to take the head off or the, the point off for my head, okay? Now, once you've done that, grab your piece of scrap. You're going to cut just a small section off like that, and that's going to become your tail. And this piece here that's left over, grab your spring bouquet punch, and using this flower here, just going to um, thread that back in and pick up two of those petals, okay, like that, and just punch that. That's going to give you a cute little feathery end to your wing. Okay, so just go ahead and, and ink some of that, uh, the back of the bird mainly, and the tail, and some of the wing. You could use this little bird without a wing or with a wing. I've, I've done both and I'll show you there in a second. And I've used this stamp from the stamp set called Vintage Vogue and I'm just going to stamp that then on the back of my bird just to give it some more interest. Okay and I'll clean that up later. Okay now once you've done that grab your two-way pen and Put your little bird together. Okay, just put the tail on like that. And the wing like that. And you need one of the little petals from this five petal flower for the beak. Or you could use another flower similar. That's fine. Okay, put the beak on. And one thing I didn't cut was that colour, just excuse me for a second. Okay, I'm going to use just some little strips of black card for the legs. And you can judge how thin you want those legs to be, or how long, or, or whatever. Okay, so I'll just put that together. One leg longer than the other here. Oops. Okay. Now you need a little eye on the bird. And that's done. Here's your little bird. 
Isn't he cute? And there's the little brown, brown version. And that's the card that I put it on. I've used um, the flowers then from the spring, uh, not spring, okay, from the vintage Vogue set to um, decorate my card here, and also the same pattern which was on the back of of the bird. And the stalk here that the bird is holding on to with his beak is from the tart and tangy set and they're from the cherries. I just masked up the, the cherries and the leaves um, to get the little the little branch here that's holding the hearts on and these leaves here from the, the stu two step bird punch okay and this branch here is done with the wide oval and it's just double punched. Okay so I hope you enjoy this little bird. He's cute and he doesn't take very much pun uh, many punches to make and has a really um, a really cute look. So thanks for looking. Bye.